Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, we have Josh Sitton, TJ Lang, David Bakhtiari, Don Barkley of the offensive line of the Green Bay Packers, along with Clay Matthews, have a cameo on Pitch Perfect 2 in theaters May 15th. You all married, guys? You all married? Yeah. Um, yep. oh, you, you, Bakhtiari, that's a no. Yeah. Sitton, that's a no. Fiance. Okay. Yeah. So you are, did, did you... Did you hit on anybody on the, on the set? Did you take? Did you I was. Take it was very professional. It was a professional. Uh, you were professional. So trying to keep this. it as professional as I could. Because there's a lot of lovely ladies. There, in this I mean, show. I will say there was a lot of uh, some talent. Okay, but that's it. There's not because uh, you know, as you know, your quarterback has gone a little Hollywood too. You know, I, uh, I just don't know if that's if that's you just do what your quarterback does. You no, know? no, no. We're I cool. Just, okay. Protect him. I mean, and I just it's just so fun to see you guys in the in this movie, we're showing for the radio audience some cameo, some uh, some footage of you there with Clay <laughs> Matthews going sleeveless and you all went black suits yeah. in this. Was that a choice of Clay Matthews to go sleeveless? Did he do that or did, was that? I think choice? it was an idea and we kind of, they kind of threw it out I think Clay kind of ran us. with it though. And then and Clay and was like, yeah. He had a really little bit like to do with that, yeah. yeah. Go, go figure. He, he, had loved, a, he didn't yeah. know why he loved shows it. on. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. He was in there doing curls in our trailer. He was he was out. He is, that, the, is that for real? He's doing. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Don he was. Got the Don was holding the towel for him. Yeah. 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 We had to get some curls in before the camera. You know. Yeah. He was he was begging to show them off. Yeah. So because he knew there would be a figurative gun show. Yeah. He's prior to the shoot in the trailer. Doing some last-minute hockey oh, yeah. to, to get it all going. Yeah, the spray tan was probably the best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah, we wow. got some pictures of him getting the spray tan done. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> has this There's been, no secrets here. Has this been posted anywhere? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. All right, just no. in case. I was that was uh, that was T.J. Lang um, <laughs> uh -huh. letting the spray oh, tan <laughs> cat out of the bag. Um, <laughs> so tan. just to talk God. football with you guys real quick, uh, the NFC Championship game. How 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 quickly were we you? Were able we weren't going to talk about that. <laughs> Time to go south really quick. Past. That's it. I'm south really fast. We need now. to talk to someone. Yeah, I know. Does, it, does anyone want to hit that? I mean, at, at all about that about the loss and and potentially trying to get over it. Maybe there being a hangover coming up this. No, I season? think. Uh, TJ, I, I know personally, I was over it pretty quick. I mean, it was something that <clears throat> there was a lot of heartbreaking losses in that playoffs last year. When you look at Detroit, Dallas. Us yeah, everyone was painted it was, forward. I think. Yeah. yeah, it was a lot of a uh, lot of tough losses, but uh, really, I think once we started back up a few weeks ago, I mean, you could tell everybody was excited to get back at it. You know, on offense, really excited. We got Brian Balaga back and Randall Cobb, our two biggest free agents. So we returned basically everybody on that offense. So um, you know, I think we're just. I think everybody's moved on and ready to ready to look forward to this year. And what is Aaron Rodgers like as a leader? What's he like in the uh, in the huddle? I think that's the the biggest thing um, that I've seen. You know, I've been with. Uh, I got there the first year he started, so I've been there the whole time with him pretty much. And the biggest thing I've seen, the, you know, the biggest growth is his leadership. He's really taken over the the offense, taken over the team, and you know, taken over the organization. I mean, he's he's the face of the organization, and he. He knows it and he he shows it on game day, obviously. But you know, every day we're we're at work. He's uh, he's the leader and and uh, it's great. He's and, awesome. And you, Josh, sitting, you're sort of the face of the Indomitian Sioux target. <laughs> Are you going to miss him now that he's in Miami? You know what? Josh? We Tees and I were talking about it. We <laughs> we couldn't be happier that he's gone. <laughs> um, we we were hoping for an AFC East team because we don't have to play them for four years. So yeah. I uh, I'll uh, I might retire before I play him again. Is, he that, so. is, it, is that just because you don't want to get stepped on, or is it he's really that that? <laughs> that means he's a good football player. He's a, he's a pain in the ass to play. Mm -hmm. um, there's no doubt. But I mean, yeah, he you know the the hype is is there for a reason. He you know every every title he's gotten, he's he's earned. And what do you make of the uh, thing that we're all focused on in the media with the Ted Wells report and the footballs and the fact that people believe that it affects the competition mm -hmm. and that the Patriots have circumvented the rules. Does anybody want to take the... Your, I'll I look at you, David. I yeah. don't even touch the football, so I can't really speak upon it. Okay. <laughs> I play sports all about the ball, and I don't have nothing to do with well, it. Well, in that regard, though, I mean, you played New England this year at home, mm -hmm. and it looked like you might actually go ahead and play them in the Super Bowl this year. You, as competitors in the league... Do you think that something should be done here based on what you've just heard or maybe if you guys have read the report? I keep report? going back and forth, man, because I, I, there's so many little things that us as players try and do, and it's kind of just like a routine thing. And, and then I go back to, look, man, it's the rule. 
don't break the rules. Um, so, I mean, honestly, I keep going back and forth on it. Um, I think the league will handle it well. Um, it's uh, it's one of those things that it's kind of tough to speak on, being being on the outside looking in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't know the entire situation, obviously, so I don't really know what was going on 100%, so it's hard to hard to speak on fully. I'm here with a quartet of Green Bay Packers here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Josh Sitton, TJ Lang, Bakhtiari, and uh, Barkley, David and Don. What, why didn't Belaga get the call? <laughs> oh, great question. He was real sensitive. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. He, well, at the time, two years ago when we were planning the whole thing, uh, Dang, Brian, 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 Brian was like on IR. Job. He was on injury <laughs> reserve, so he was in Florida uh, pretty much the whole season. So he just wasn't around when Dave was playing the whole thing. And there was a little bit of bad blood because Brian was supposed to be the left tackle. Mm -hmm. And then... Dave took his spot, so <laughs> oh, yeah. he's he the did. agent. So, yeah, so he. Yeah. Uh, so so this is just out. Out. <laughs> <laughs> So is this selective that Brian Belaga was not invited um, to be in Pitch Perfect two? The only thing selected no. was uh, that me and Max talked about was we wanted people who were fans of the movie. Okay. To be in, he's like, I don't want someone to come be a part of your guys' group if they're not really. So big did fans. you give him a Pitch Perfect test? Belaga, <laughs> well, I mean, was it <laughs> trivia? We Pitch were always doing tests every, every day. day. Yeah, yeah, you kind of just yeah. hear your everyday activity. I was yeah. just kind of gauging people's uh, it was interest in to hear songs. And he wasn't around. He just wasn't around. And uh, everything was cool to about this week. Uh, I actually texted him. To, we were supposed to go see a movie. And they ended up, uh, he's like, ah, I can't make it. I'm like, oh, really? We can't go watch a movie? He goes, oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to the premiere this weekend, I guess. And I'm like, really? The move, we're going to go watch a movie and you're going to rip the premiere? That is, do, do not correlate together. And are, are you concerned that uh, you're going to be accused of, by your teammates of going Hollywood, of, of singing in, 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 a, in a Hollywood movie? Uh, you could probably. This? I mean, they're just going to bring up just because. as more of a joke. Yeah, sure. Than anything. Okay, I hear you. Now, and again, it was uh, in terms of Balaga. Uh, it was Max Handelman who said this, or was it Max as Elizabeth Banks who said this to Actual you? Actual Max. Yeah. You sure about this? Actual Max. Max. Boy, man, I just would love to have seen your face uh. when you found out it really wasn't Elizabeth Banks who followed you I, back. Well, I first saw it, it, really it popped up on my phone, and I looked, and I was like, this name looks really familiar. And I looked, I'm like, two, like, almost like 1.3 million followers. I'm like, I like 13 yeah. thousand at the time. I was like, just really no one. Right. And I looked, <laughs> still am not with anyone. Anyway, but listen, I'm like, why would this, <laughs> like, this person follow me? And then uh, I clicked, I'm like, oh, wow. This is, she's directing Pitch Perfect 2, because right. I just came out. So I'm like, well, this is, there's only one reason why she would follow me. It's because of these tweets about Pitch Perfect. There you go. Like, why else would you follow me? Why not? So thank you, Dave. Besides yeah, the fact that I'm cool. That's there it, way to go. I, yeah, I, I had no idea you, that, uh, that I would find out the way that you guys got involved with this is that you got catfished by Max <laughs> 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 Elizabeth Banks' husband Cat and co-producer on this. Catfish can be a positive sometimes. Uh, okay. They're not Catfished. always negative. No. Who are going to figure that? <laughs> uh, I mentioned how uh, this is setting a record for tonnage here on the Rich Eisen Show. You did. Uh, Law, you have the floor here. Yeah, um, so we, uh, we went to the PackersRoster.com and we added up the total weight to your right or left. Yes. Within... 25 pounds. Is this, do you think you can? Hit I'll try my or, best. Or, or right here? No, but this is Price is Right rules, right? Closest without pounds. going that's over. Cool. That's, that's, that's 25 right pounds window. is, I don't know, that, that I'd get both showcases for that. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> 50. Okay. 50 pounds? No. Okay, let me guess. And again, is this, are these accurate weights that are on? Yeah, Packers probably. Yeah. yeah, they are. No. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the right side right now. <laughs> so that's part of the stuff Josh yeah. was saying. You stuff that you do for an edge. Okay. Not the uh, I will go. Carry the one. I'll go. I will go. Thirteen hundred and fifteen pounds. You're under. Okay. You want to go one more? A little I higher. will go. Well, now, now it's like the now it's like the the cliffhanger game on the yodel are going up right now. I'll go thirteen seventy five. Got to get up into the fourteen, Rich. Oh, really? Jeez. What's the what's the total? Fourteen fifty one. Just right here. What do they have Just right here? Yeah, what you guys please? are listed at three eighteen, three ten, three oh five, and three eighteen. Who's the three fifteen? Uh, Hold on. That's like I was told there'd be no questions on this exam. Two, two of you are listed at 318, that's one's 12, at 305, so, right? and one's 310. That's like 12. That's, 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 like 12, 12. that's not 1,400 pounds. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, I didn't do the math wizard. wrong. It was 1,250. That's you over there. You're averaging 350 over here. Jesus. Okay, time to. You want to carry the one? Who's tipping those 400? Did any of you guys go to Penn State? Penn State, everybody. Yeah, that's Penn State education. Oh, Penn State. Oh, 
1251. Yeah. 1251. So it's okay. Uh, uh, Chris. I'm kicking you Am out, out of your seat. Am I for the rest of the show? Sit and can you sit in his seat, please? <laughs> for the rest of the show? Would you mind taking over yeah. for him? Thank you. Unbelievable. Law has been ejected Maybe from the better. Chris Command Center. <laughs> <laughs> A much burlier man sitting down. Atta boy. Let's do this. He's been, he's been ejected. He has been ejected. 1,400 pounds. Did you believe that? What the heck oh, we is got that all, all kinds about? Of toys. Three all right, Josh sitting, sitting in between Del Tufo and Chris Brockman here on the Rich Eisen Show. Let's take a break. We've come back with more. Uh, we'll hit that poll question. We'll uh, wrap up this show. Latest news, too. Uh, and the latest news. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of these guys. These guys are my no, protectors no, for the rest of the program. <laughs> Law's out, sitting in for <laughs> Law. You can't do math. <laughs> Wait, why is Law on the set? Because Law has been uh, ejected. You, you should not be on the set. But look, he's now sitting with the Green Bay Packers because Josh Sitton is sitting in for him. And this show is already running much smoother. <laughs> much smoother. <laughs> and the, the beard is longer. The show is smoother. It's Josh Sitton sitting in the Chris Command Center. Smells better over here. Oh. oh. <laughs> Shots Why fired. Cologne. Shots have been My fired. My master plan worked. I got away from over there. I'm over here with the Packers. Stop it out. paying for razors with so much shave technology. DollarShaveClub.com delivers amazing razors and grooming supplies right to my door for a couple of bucks. Shave time, shave money. Upgrade to DollarShaveClub.com. That's DollarShaveClub.com. Brockman? Uh, today's poll question is, uh, will Alex Rodriguez pass Babe Ruth on the all-time home run list? He just passed... Willie Mays. So will we move into third? 73%? No. Say no. No. Because he's at 661 and Babe Ruth is at, is at 714. Yeah, 714. So he needs 53 more. Okay. What are you what are you looking at, uh, Josh? What's on Chris Law's computer? Can you can you <laughs> well, tell me? I don't think anybody wants to know. We're not allowed to say these things. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a creep though. <laughs> it's been confirmed. <laughs> it has been confirmed that Chris Law's a creep. I love it. Uh, Jason in London, you're on with four Green Bay Packers. We're taking calls from London, England right now. Jason, nice. you're on the program. You got about a minute. What's going on, Rich? How are you, Jason? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm fine. You tell me. Uh, I'm just calling to say thank you. I mean, you and the Chris Command Center literally got me through my last year of law school over here. So, is that right? Uh, no kidding. So, are you ready to write Deflate Gate Two report? Is that what you're ready to do? Based on that, listening. That, that's the plan. I mean, I'm coming out at the perfect time, right? So. I love it. Do, what do you, do you have? Any question for the for the Packers who are sitting here, Jason? I got nothing. Just for you. It's all about you today. <laughs> I'm calling to say thank you. Okay, you got it. Thank you. That's Jason in London. Like you guys haven't played a game in London yet, right? You haven't no. Done it? no. No. You're playing Thanksgiving, and At then you're home. playing a week later against the Lions on NFL Network. That I know. Yeah. And CBS, which is America's most watched network. Three games in 11 days. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's all you're thinking. Not that you're counting. Yeah, not that Thanks, you're counting schedulers. or anything like that. Not that you're <laughs> counting. That. Now, you do realize that, you, that Pitch Perfect 2 has to make more money than Pitch Perfect. Otherwise, you guys are going to get the blame. Right, yeah. David? You're the yeah. agent here, correct? <laughs> I think we'll be invited back for the third one then. Well, definitely you won't be catfished <laughs> by Max again. <laughs> I think we're on like an actual face-to-face -face basis at this point. Now, did, you, so. did you see that Aaron Rodgers is going to be on Celebrity Jeopardy next Friday? I hear something about I mean, that. Next really? week? Yeah, did you see that? I did. Yeah. yeah. How do you think he's going to do? I think probably fair it's pretty, pretty well. smart. He knows yeah. a lot of stuff about everything. Uh, oh, gosh. I, he's, he's up against one of the guys from Shark Tank. Great show. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Look at that. There's Mr. Look. Wonderful. By the screen, yeah, yeah Mark Kelly, like former astronaut. Right? There you go. Wow. <laughs> Fist bump. Boy, Aaron went. Uh, he went cardigan on the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's been, yeah. That, that nice is cardigan. No, no wonder he wasn't at work all week. <laughs> 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 I want to thank today's guests for joining the program. Kurt Warner came on the show in hour number one. Kevin Harlan and Joe Latrulio in hour number two. Joe Latrulio in Pitch Perfect two, who you guys also lifted up in one yeah. of our television-only segments. <laughs> that was a first for him, and I'm sure for you, maybe, too. I uh, also want to thank um, uh, you guys, Josh Sitton, TJ Lang, David Bakhtiari, and Don Barkley for coming on the program. Yes, Chris Brock. Uh, so just some late breaking news. Uh, number three overall pick, Dante Fowler, carted off the field oh. holding his left knee in practice today. No way. Head coach Gus Bradley says, quote, being evaluated, we'll know more tonight. Oh, my gosh. Chris Paul, officially questionable for tonight's game three. Mike Pettinen says McCown is the favorite right now over Manziel to start at week one, and David Ortiz suspended for tonight's game, lost his appeal for bumping an official on April 19th. No kidding. Anything else going on? My Lord, that was you're, you're just unloaded right there. 
Wow. Uh, Tom so, Brady's still the Super Bowl champion and MVP from Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> wow. When it comes to the Patriots and his love for them, he's such a bald bastard. There you go. That's Josh Gad's thoughts on this whole subject. Thanks again, guys. Enjoy the. When is the premiere? When's tonight. it tonight? tonight. tonight. Tonight's Six. the premiere. Yeah. Excited. Wow. We'll come back anytime, Rich. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what, we're working together now? Yeah, Pipe down I'm, I'm up coming, Josh gets the air. Sitting yeah. seriously, what is on his computer right now? What is on his computer right now? Can you just send I'm some looking at his Gmail emails. account yeah, right now. I'm going through all his emails. Oh, no. But I'm trying to um, change his background picture. <laughs> <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on audience.